I grew up in Chicoutimi, Quebec, the east coast of Canada, the resort called the Valley Noir. That's where I first started snowboarding. My dad gave me a snowboard for Valentine's Day as a present. Show his love. You know, he recently split up with my mother, and I had never looked back. As I started competing, I just wanted to do more of it. Uh, there was good pipe and good jumps, which was the only time I got to ride those things was at competition, so I wanted to do it more and more. And I got some great results. I started to win, and I got sponsored, and I was given opportunities to travel around the world. When I was watching snowboard videos or watching the early magazines and seeing what Whistler had to offer, yeah, I was like, I want to move there. That's where I belong. In the summer of 1999, up in the mountain of Bromridge, between Worcester and Squamish, I was digging an elf pipe, and all of a sudden an angel came out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that you could actually fall in love right away, but that happened to me. Meanwhile, I grabbed a shovel and was helping these guys dig because they were a day late getting their pipe up. I came up here originally for a photo shoot and it's a little bit of a toss up if it's my boyfriend that I met at the time or snowboarding that kept me here but I definitely was wanting to spend more and more time here. Being so busy as we were in our careers and traveling the world and this child just happened and we, we were like wow okay alright we're having a baby but I think what we decided from really early on that we weren't going to center our lives around the baby, more like the baby's just going to come along with us. Make you feel like all... Yeah, so you don't fall. Look at your dad! Look at where you're going! Regular or goofy? Regular! <laughs> Right. We have like this goofy regular debate. He's trying to get our kids to be regular and I'm trying to get him to be goofy. <laughs> Being outside in these beautiful mountains with your kids, I mean, there's really no other place I'd rather be. In October of 2012, I was diagnosed with stage 3 lymph-positive, estrogen-positive breast cancer. For treatment, I had surgeries, chemo, radiation, hyperthermia, cold cap treatment, weekly IVs, acupuncture. Yeah. <laughs> All those things cost money and we didn't have it. So I decided that a fundraiser was definitely the thing to do. We're here to raise some money for an amazing cause. I know you guys are all here to support, so we're gonna get through the free I knew that we had lots of friends and the community of Whistler will be supportive, but I didn't know they would be that supportive. Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming here. I can't even tell you how much the great all of you guys are here, I mean, it's, it's very overwhelming actually, you know, Whistler is a very big part of our life, so all of you guys too, all of our friends, thank you very much everybody. That night just gave Megan the strength to go through what she's been through and gave me that strength as well. with 
with your little one. And so this is only the beginning, and it's really fun. Got it from her mama. Whistler is such a great community to raise your kids in because it's not just obviously the mountains, it's the people and the people's energy. I was very lucky to become a parent at the time I did because, you know, I'm kind of like a kid myself still, you know, like I want to play and I think that it's inspiring for my kids to, to have that to have a playful dad. Just so stoked to be on the mountain with my girls and just seeing our little daughter just ride father and get the fix for it. It's awesome. <laughs>